Delusional. Delulu at that point. Let's see how this goes. What's up guys today's video is brought to you by jerly she jerly she was nice enough to send us over a few fits so we're gonna try them on and get into them for reference they're all a size small and i am 411 and 114 pounds also jerly she has an app now y'all can go ahead and download their app and go shop with them now let's go ahead and get into these outfits y'all so for this first outfit, we have this really cute sweatsuit. It's gray, and it has the pink drawstrings, as y'all can see, with the pockets. Super cute, super comfy. The fabric was very good quality. These are also short girl friendly, so we love that. And the fabric on the inside of these sweatsuits are so freaking soft. On the back of the sweatsuit, it has a word on the butt part and on the hoodie part. I think it's super cute. I'm just not sure what it says, y'all. If y'all know what this says, let me know. It looks like it has like a halo on the top of the word, whatever it says. I just really like when sweats have things on the butt and then the hood just made it even more cute. So this is the first look and I'm loving it. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Also, as we go along and get through all the looks, let me know which one is your favorite. Outfit number two, we have a gallery department two-piece set. The top is a short sleeve top. It's a polyester fabric. Top is very stretchy. And then the bottoms, we have the sweatpants. They are a cotton fabric. The bottom of the sweatpants are a little bit loose around the leg area. But it's really cute, chill outfit. The top has the gallery department Hollywood, California printed on it. And so do the sweats on the bottom corner. They do fit me a little bit loose, but at least they do have drawstrings. The sweats do have pockets. This is a really cool fit. Now on to the next outfit. At first, I wasn't sure how to feel about this outfit on me, but I think it's really cute actually, and it shapes the body very well. Then here I go trying to see if the outfit is twerkable or not. Like I have a serious problem. <laughs> Yeah, once I put it on though and I started looking at it, I'm like, okay, this kind of eats. I love how it's loose around everywhere but the waist. So then it just makes the waist look extra snatched. The zipper on this is very good quality. It does not get snugged at all. And I like how around the arms on the wrist, it's like scrunched up. It's really cute. For outfit number four, we have another sweatsuit. This one is a hidden cult sweatsuit. If you guys have seen those before, they're really cute. So this sweatsuit does have a hoodie and the hoodie actually zips up all the way to the top. I was not about to show y'all that for real because I didn't want to mess up my makeup. But as you can see, the zipper goes all the way up to the top to where you can't see your face anymore. So it says hidden cult on the front of the sweatshirt and then in between the legs of the sweatpants. These are short girl friendly, but around the waist, they are a bit baggy for me and they don't have any drawstrings to make it tighter. They also are like cargo sweatpants, so they have pockets on the side, which are super cute. For the next outfit, we have this pretty department two-piece set. It's pink. It's giving baby pink. I love it. It's very stretchy material. It's super cute. It's giving like an athleisure look. Long sleeve, definitely short girl friendly and tall girl friendly. I just may have saved the best look for last. We have another Hidden Cult two-piece sweatsuit, but it's pink on pink and I love it. It has the Hidden Cult on the butt and on the front of the sweater as well. Y'all get into the details of this freaking sweater. Mind you, the fabric is amazing. Has the drawstrings, everything. Look at the sleeves. They're so freaking cute. They match the bottom of the sweater. Y'all. I have nothing else to say, just look at it. The quality is top tier though, but just look at it. Just watch me look cute as hell in it. Also, the bottom of the sweatpants have a string where you can pull it tighter. If y'all see some outfits y'all like, make sure y'all go ahead and check out Jerly Sheet. All the links will be down below in the description box. Now let's get into the video.
doesn't turn, I keep stressing my mind but I look for peace, but see I don't attain What I need for keeps this silly game we play, play Now look at this Madness the magnet keeps attracting me, me I try to run, but see I'm not that fast I think I'm first, but surely finish last What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Honey K and make sure you subscribe because we live over here. Period. Okay, you guys, so today's Thursday and we are getting ready to go to my friend's event. She is a chef, she caters, all of that, private chef. So she got booked for an event tonight. It's an R&B event. It started about an hour and a half ago. So we're just gonna go show some support a little bit before work. Y'all, I don't got no sheets or nothing on my bed because I'm doing laundry. But um, they're in the dryer right now. So by the time I get back home, I could just throw it on my bed. But anyways, and we're just wearing this white top. Honestly, I could tuck the collar. I feel like it looks ugly when it's not tucked. So maybe I will tuck it. Okay, I'll just tuck it, whatever. And then it has the thumb holes, but I don't want to wear the thumb holes. So I just like tucked those in too. And yeah, and then we're just wearing our bracelets. That's it. No other jewelry besides our earrings. I always wear my earrings, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Always. My honey chain actually broke on my freaking hair. It got tangled in my hair and it broke. So I'm not wearing that and I don't want to wear my K-chain tonight. So yeah, it's just giving bracelet. And I'm just wearing these jeans. I really like these light washed jeans. They're flared out on the bottom. Ugh, I can't show y'all for real. I'm going to wear them with my DGs, my Dulce Cabanas, with a pink bag that actually matches this pink on the shoe. I have to get the bag down and then put my stuff in it and all of that. But I'm kind of in a rush, y'all. So I'm going to just check back in with y'all once we get to the event. And then after we leave the event, we are going to work tonight. So I'm just bringing my work bag with me. So yeah, let's go to this event and then go to work and see how tonight goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all nigga. So today's Friday. It's the morning. Well, it's not even the morning. I'm having a late start to my day today. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't do my money count last night, obviously. My window is open, so I'm sorry if you, if you hear outside. But I just felt like I needed to open my window and get some fresh air. I'm gonna start straightening my money because I haven't even did that yet. And I'm going to tell y'all about how last night went. It was a Thursday and it is rolling loud weekend out here. Last night was interesting. Honestly, I could have made way more money. But people really just like messed my bag up because they want to fight on stage. I was so annoyed. But let me start from the beginning, y'all. First got to work. It was cool vibes. Everything was cool. Travis Scott got there really early. I did not get on that bag because, of course, there's always something going on with that section. As in like... They're picking a certain type of girl for that section, and I'm not that type of girl. Or the club is basically was pulling in non-black girls, and then the black girls that did get in the section, they're like OG club favorites type. Honestly, last night was a very colorist night too. Like It was very colorist, but anyways, after Travis Scott section, I had just got on stage and I was like, whatever, I'm going to just see what I make on stage. I made a little bit of money on stage. These two girls were throwing money at me. And then this guy started throwing a little bit at me. I probably made like $100 on that stage set. Then I'm just walking around the club. I talked to this guy. I danced for him. And then it was this girl's birthday. I danced for her. I did work by myself last night. I was just walking around the club making money here and there. That's literally where all my money came from. I wasn't in no sections. But at the end of the night, I did talk to this guy. And he had got like $1,200. And it was just me and another girl standing right there talking to him. And he was like chilling at first. I was sitting there with him for like... 10 15 minutes trying to figure out what he was gonna do because he was taking his time he just had his money sitting right there and i was like come on before more girls come over here like i was trying to get him to throw it so that way it could just be a two girl split so i'm like talking to him or whatever 
And then he finally starts to throw the money. He throws about a hundred and something dollars, y'all, out of the twelve hundred dollars. And then these two dancers, one dancer was getting off stage, and I guess she was picking her money up or something. I wasn't paying attention because I was dancing. I was working. Mind you, we're right by the stage where I'm dancing at. The section is right in front of the stage. So they could see everything. But my head is down and I'm dancing. And then all I hear is like commotion. So I look up and I see them like just finished fighting. I'm like, what is going on? When she was picking her money up and about to get off stage, she got her head down. Obviously, she's picking her money up. And the other girl sn snuck her from behind is what I was told because I didn't see anything because my head was down because I was working, trying to make money. I just look up, I see the girl wig off. She's trying to grab her wig. The other girl steady trying to swing. It was just a lot. And then as soon as I look up, see them, I'm like, bro. Then I look at the customer, he picking his money up, y'all. Getting his stacks of ones and getting ready to go. I'm like, oh, y'all finna leave now? He like, yeah, this is out. I don't got time for this. One thing start, you never know what's gonna happen next. So I'm gonna just go. I'm like, nah, y'all should stay. It's just two dancers. Like, it's not a big deal. It's not gonna escalate. And he like, nah, I gotta go, shorty. All right then, nice meeting you. It sucked, cause like that would have been a two girl split. So now I'm like, they done messed my money up the rest of the night. I didn't make no more money. A lot of people left after that happened. Like fighting on stage is crazy. Wait till you get off at least. Not a whole club just seen y'all fight. Now they don't want to be here. Just ruin the bag for everybody. So yeah, after that, I called it a night, y'all. Went to the back. I went to go get dressed. I bought me a plate of food. That plate of food was $20. So I used that 20 out of this money. So I was hungry. Y'all know my club don't ever sell food. But my homegirl, who I had went to her event, she had came up there and sold some plates. So, you know, I had to get me a plate, y'all. So this is what I made last night with $20 deducted from that plate. And then my tip out money deducted, of course, because I tip out. I'm hoping I made at least my minimum, which if you're new here, my minimum is 500. I do think tonight is gonna be way better though, y'all. It's Friday night, so it should be good. The weather is being funny today though. Like it's gloomy and then like it'll be sunny and then it'll go back gloomy and then it started raining. Anyways, I'm about to finish checking in this money, y'all, and get my dancer back together. And then I'll come back to y'all once I run my money and we see how much it is. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Sam, you a bad bitch. Put your hands up high. Hands up high. Hands up high. Tell them to dim the lights down right now. Put me in the mood. I'm talking about... Persian rocks. But she's from Nicaragua, I thought you was Persian love Are we turning up or are we wasting time? Alright y'all, so we didn't make our minimum But I'm gonna be grateful for what we did make I'm gonna be grateful y'all So we have, we got 100 which we got a 20 And then we got 81s, so that makes 100 and then 200, 300, 400, and then leftover ones, we got $9. So we made 409 last night. After buying that plate of food and tipping out, we came home with 409 on a Thursday. Honestly, it's a Thursday, it's all right. It's the beginning of the weekend. It's gonna be a great weekend. We're gonna go into tonight with a positive mindset. This was just the beginning, this cool. I'm happy we made some money. So we're gonna be grateful for this, 409. And for the rest of today, I'm gonna just start editing my video so I can have it finished by tomorrow so I can post it on Sundays. Oh, also I wanna cook and then we're just gonna get ready for work and that's it. I'm gonna make me a little fruit bowl and then we're gonna start editing. Y'all, I'm cooking, and while I'm cooking, I want to try this Olipop that I got. 
it's the cherry cola flavor. I want to see what it's hitting for. It kind of tastes like a diet soda. Like, low-key, it just tastes like a diet cherry cola. It's not bad. I'm not a big fan of, like, sugar-free drinks. It's not horrible, but I'm not a fan. I would give it a 5 out of 10. Maybe even a 4. I would just want to try another flavor. If y'all have drunk Olipops before, let me know what flavor I should get next. Except grape. I don't like anything grape flavored. I don't like nothing grape flavored at all. If it's not a real grape, I don't want it. And artificial grape flavoring is not my thing at all. Grape soda, grape candy, grape anything flavored, no. It's later in the night now. I ate dinner, edited a little bit of a video, and then I got ready for work. So I'm gonna leave now because it is really loud weekend. So it's probably gonna be a little traffic. So I should have left a little earlier, but this is the time I usually leave. So I should be okay, but we're gonna go ahead and head out now. And I'll check back in with you guys once I get to work or once I get back home, either one. <laughs> It's Saturday night now. Lately, I've been using my Saturdays to catch up with my editing, which I really want to stop doing that because every time I do that, I end up getting invited like mad places. And then I be having to like put my priorities first, which is YouTube and tell people, no, I can't come. So I missed out on like two invitations today, but I don't even really consider it missing out for real. They weren't really things I really wanted to do anyways. Like if I had nothing to do, I would have did it. But if I had something else to do, then I wouldn't have done it, you know? So basically that's all I was doing today was just editing. I did do my money count for last night. I didn't talk to y'all last night at all. Last night was not good. I was so annoyed. I just... Literally came home, did my night routine, went to bed. I didn't even do my money count because I just wasn't in the mood to see the amount of money I made because I knew I wasn't going to be happy with it because I literally fumbled a bag last night, which is so annoying. I literally gave the money. I literally walked away from the money without even knowing it, obviously, but that's how I feel. Like, girl, you walked away from the money. It is Rolling Loud weekend, as y'all know. So, like, a lot of people are out here in L.A., for Rolling Loud Weekend. There was a lot of people in my club last night, but I'm gonna be 100% honest, like there was also a lot of freaking dancers in my club last night. Girls that haven't worked in years, girls who travel dance. So when I got to work at midnight, I was girl number 52. That's crazy. 52 girls is literally insane. And there was only like three good sections last night. And one of them was Kodak Black, which I'm so fangirl about him. Like, him and Lil Baby, those are, like, the only two people I ever fangirl over. Like, I'm not, like, doing the most fangirl, but I'm, like, oh, look at him. Like, I, <laughs> I wasn't even going to try to get into the section for real, but I was, like, I'm going to just stay in here because I just feel like Kodak going to pick me. <laughs> Delusional, Delulu at that point. Girl, so he didn't even pick the girls, his friends did. And they only got like, I think they got like three or $4,000. They didn't even get that much money. 
and it was like five girls on the bag so it wasn't like a big bag but it was like some money compared to what else was going on in the club you know after kodak section and i just keep going by my night or whatever i'm trying to make money it just was weird it was just so weird the energy was so weird i was annoyed and then there was these football players across from kodak section so i had seen them and i'm like let me just go try over there i'm talking to the dude or whatever and he like he was like talking to me but his energy was just weird i don't know and i felt like i was bothering him and i don't like that so i was like trying to talk to him trying to see what they was on and he was just acting like stupid his conversation was just horrible so i'm like i could sit here and wait or I could walk around and try to find something else. So at this point, it was late in the night and I knew I had only made a few dollars. So I was like, nah, like I need to make more. So I'm like, let me just go walk around when instead I should have just held it down a bit patient. Cause them niggas spent the most money in the club last night. They got like 10,000. So of course I was pissed because I went to go look for more money I started dancing for some people, made small money. I should have just held it down and waited right there for them to get their money and kept talking to them. I just didn't know. Like, it wasn't guaranteed. I didn't know he was going to get money or not, and it wasn't giving that. Because the dude told me, literally, he was like, we chilling right now. But it's like, when people tell you that, you can always go back, you know? So I was like, I'm going to go over here, dance a little bit, and then I'm going to come back over here. So I'm dancing, and then I look. They throwing money already. So I'm like, damn. So I try to like dance on the side and he gonna tell me like, you should have never left. And turned around and started throwing his money. I'm like, oh wow. <laughs> okay, I feel you. I should have never left. That's my fault. But damn, I was irritated. And then after that, I was just over it, y'all. Like literally it was too many girls working. Like the fact that they let so many girls work really irritated me because it's like, it's just girls everywhere. Like, it was so many freaking dancers. So, oh, I did my money count, y'all. I have it sitting on the uh, desk. I'm going to just show y'all my money count real quick before we head out the door. Since it is Saturday, I'm hoping tonight is a better night. Good money. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm wearing the color green tonight for money, okay? So, we got this $100 bill. And this guy literally handed this to me while somebody else was dancing for him, which is crazy. When I tell y'all that girl was so mad, I don't know why, but this is the second time this has happened to me. It happened to me last weekend when that dude gave me that thousand dollars. But this time it happened to me, he just gave me a hundred. But I was literally walking and I was like eyeing him or whatever and she was dancing for him. So I kind of just like walked past and he like from behind handed it to me like this. And I see him going like this. So I grab it and he like nodded at me like, and then the, the girl that was dancing for him saw him give it to me though. And so I put it in my bag and she was like, why would you give that to her while I'm dancing for you? Blah, 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 blah. Like you're giving her money. You're not even tipping me. He didn't throw her a dollar. She was going up on him. I just walked away. Cause what does that got to do with me? <laughs> Thank you. See you later. So then I got that hundred dollars and then I got Two hundred and one, so that's three hundred dollars, and then we got a dollar. So we made three oh one last night on a freaking Friday, y'all. Three oh one. That's not okay. So tonight we're gonna see how this plays out tonight. I'm gonna head out now, y'all, so that I'm not too late, and then we'll see how tonight goes. I'll check back in with y'all once I get to the club or once I get back home. Either one. let's chat let's chat let's chat about our night last night it's sunday now i did not go to church this morning because i was drunk i'm not even gonna lie i didn't even set my alarm to even attempt to go because i forgot to set my alarm i also was so lit that i ended up having to post my youtube video late because i forgot to schedule my video i was supposed to schedule it last night it was just one of them nights I ended up posting my video at like 3 o'clock today. Usually I post my videos at 12, but I'm like, you know what? I'm still going to post it and it's still doing good. So I'm really happy that regardless of me posting it a little bit late, y'all are still going to tune in. And I even got some DMs like, are we getting a video today? <laughs> and I'm like, I just posted it, y'all. I just posted it. 
Because I definitely be trying to respond to my DMs on Instagram. I definitely be trying to talk to the girls. If I see y'all message, I will reply. Like, I'm never funny acting when it comes to that. I love being able to talk to y'all. That's why I want y'all to follow me on Instagram. I'm able to interact with y'all more on Instagram than YouTube, you know? And Instagram and YouTube are really the only platforms that I be on for real. And TikTok every now and then. I just can't get consistent with TikTok. I don't know what it is about TikTok, but it's really hard for me to get consistent on there. But let me go ahead and tell y'all how my night went last night. We had a good night last night. It was a good vibe. Nothing really crazy happened. What is this on this money? Lip gloss. That's my lip gloss. Is my lip gloss spilling in my bag? I danced by myself for the most part. I did dance in one section last night. And was that the only section I danced in? Yeah, I danced in one section. And then I danced. Bro, it's lip gloss all over this money. That's so annoying. The lip gloss is probably all over this bag. Okay, anyways. I danced in one section last night. And then I did one stage set with one of my homegirls at the club. And then that was it. The rest of the money I just made by myself. So I think we had a pretty good night. I really don't know how much we made. I do know that I had to tip a lot last night. I tipped so many people. I'm like, oh my gosh. One thing about Rolling Loud Weekend, it's gonna be a lot of girls working and a lot of sweepers working. So I had like four different sweepers pick my money up. I had to tip all of them. Then I had to tip the house mom. But I will say they did cut off the girls that they was letting work at 45, I think. I think it was 45 girls working yesterday. And then the night before that, it was like 70 girls working from what I was told. It's just ridiculous to me how many girls is working though. Hopefully tonight is less girls. And I think tonight is the last night of Rolling Loud. So I'm hoping we finish the weekend off with a bang and less girls come. And we're just gonna have us a good Sunday. Since I didn't go to church, I just have wrote in my devotionals this morning and did a prayer. Like you can worship God from anywhere really. So just because I miss church, doesn't mean I didn't talk to God today, you know? I really talk to God every day, regardless if it's Sunday or not, as you should, but you know. I really wanna cleanse my house, y'all. I just have to get the stuff to do it. Cause I've never cleansed my house, and I know some people when they move into a new house, they'll cleanse their house. I already feel like my home is my safe haven and I have good energy in here and I'm never, I never feel like my house has bad energy because I don't allow a lot of people to come into my house for that specific reason. But so the energy is always good in my home for me, but I do just want to kind of cleanse it, you know. It had just crossed my mind the other day and I was like, maybe I'll just, I'll do like a little cleanse around the house. New energy, I feel like I've been on a new wave. So why not do a cleanse of my home, you know. Last night was like hectic when I was getting off work though. It was a lot going on, y'all. I literally was about to get into my car and I had to like cross the street because where they had parked my car at, it was like across the street, but it was just like right across. Right when I'm about to cross the street, y'all, this car was turning and like ran his stop sign on this side street. And then like the other car was coming straight and they ran into each other right when I was like about to cross the street, right in front of me, y'all. I got it on video, but honestly, I'm not going to post the video. I'm not going to do that. But it was like, oh my God. Like, what just happened? When they had crashed, the girl got out the car and she was like, oh my God, my head, my head, my head hurts. And I look at the girl and I'm like, that's a dancer at my job. Damn, that's crazy. And then she was in the car with some dudes. And the other dude got out his car. At first he was like dazed. You could tell he was like, what just happened? And as soon as he like snapped, like something like in his head just snapped. And he was just like, yo, yo. Start tripping on the other dude. Like, you ran the stop sign. This is your fault. You just told him my car. Whoop, 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 trying to fight him. Everybody trying to calm him down. Like fighting him is not finna help nothing. Stop, calm down. Both of the cars are totaled. Everybody that was getting out both cars looked drunk. And both their cars were for sure totaled. So thank God nobody was really, really hurt. Everybody looked like they were okay. Like nobody looked like they were really hurt. I'm done straightening my money. I'm about to run it 
and let's see how much we made last night okay y'all so i ran my money it's already dark outside because i had ended up getting on the phone talking doing what i do and the sun went down <laughs> so we ran our money this is what we made so we have 100 200 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then 77 so we made 877 on a saturday i'm happy with that better than thursday better than friday okay it's picking up it's picking up so tonight we gonna make another bag and we're gonna finish rolling loud weekend off strong i'm about to eat y'all because i'm hungry and i'm gonna do some stretches because i cut my muscles kind of feel tight i like to do stretches often and then take me a little nap i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna take me a little nap and then get up and get ready to go to work what's good y'all so it's later in the night and i'm ready to go to work sunday night let's see what tonight is talking about y'all i'm either gonna check in with y'all when i get to work or when i get back home either one it's the last night of rolling loud weekend so let's see how this goes What's up, y'all? So I'm back at home, and we about to run our money. I had already like straightened it for real at the club, but I want to rerun it because y'all know I don't trust the club's money counter. The money counters be off. It be over sometimes or under sometimes. Don't be 100 stacks. So I'm about to just run it. And then I had already straightened the money that I did have in my solo bag. We had a good night, though. I'm hoping for a band. Tonight was cool, y'all. Polo G had came in the club. He'd been there a couple times before I seen him. Um, he, I know his friend. So I was, like, talking to his friend or whatever. And then they had got 7000 But why did the club take so long to bring their money out? Like, they took so long to the point where Polo G was ready to go. And he ended up just leaving. He got his money back and he left. I was in two sections tonight. And then I did a stage set. And that was it. Two sections. One was a two-girl split. One was a five-girl split. And then a stage set I did with a partner. So that's a two girl split. But yeah, that's how my night went, y'all. I'm about to run this money and we about to see how much we made. All right, y'all, so this is the ones we made. We have 100, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand. And then in leftover ones, Leftover ones. So we made twenty dollars in leftover ones, so that makes one thousand and twenty dollars on a Sunday. Sundays have just been giving a band. Period. We just making a band on Sundays. Okay, we love that. But my throat is kind of hurting right now. I feel like I've been yelling a lot tonight, so I'm not really in the mood to keep talking. So. I'm going to call it a night, and I'm going to do my night routine, and I'm going to go to bed, and I'll check back in with y'all tomorrow. I might go to work tomorrow. I'm not sure, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. In a Honey K vlog, you never know what you're going to get, so. Good morning, guys. So, it's Monday now, and I got up and did, like, a couple quick errands that I had to do before I catch my flight. Yes, my flight. I'm leaving again, y'all, but um, we'll get into that in a second. I did go to the mailbox, and I got some mail. I went to my P.O. box also. So I'm going to just unbox what I got and open up some of this mail I got, too. First things first, I got a package in my P.O. box. Y'all, it's all the way from Canada. Like, Canada. From Mom's Closet. Let's see what it is. I'm already loving the packaging because it's pink, so. Ooh, okay, we got a scrunchie. So this is cute. Then we got some panties. Some Hello Kitty panties. 
These are so cute. And it has these freaking cute Hello Kitties on the sides. OMG, how cute is this, y'all? These are so freaking cute. It's giving, I gotta take a picture of these. Cause what? They're so cute. They have diamonds. It has diamonds on them and everything. Like bedazzled panties? That's my type. So this is their card. It says mom's closet. And it has a card. Thank you so much for sharing yourself with us. You have no idea how much your videos helped me. You inspired me to do better in life. So I started this small brand. Thank you for the entertainment while I am sewing clothes. You are so funny, strong, and beautiful. Been here since 2022. Back when, keep up the work. Love you. Flavia? Is that how you say your name? I don't want to say it wrong. I love a handwritten note. If y'all know me, y'all know I love a handwritten note. I always say that every time I get notes. I be like, I love it. And then we got a shirt, crop top shirt. The tags on her shirts, like... This is the tag that comes on your shirt. And also, don't play with her because it literally says mom's closet on the tag. Like, details, babe. So this is the shirt. Super cute, y'all. It's a crop top shirt. And it has this sewed on it. The quality is nice. I love this so much. Thank you, girl. And last but not least, we have a little package of items. It looks like stickers and hair clips. Let's see. This one is so cute. It's a little camera. Oh my God, that's so cute. <laughs> so cute, a butterfly. I love butterflies. I got them tatted all over me. Then we got these star hair clips. Super freaking cute. Oh my gosh. I just wanna put one in my head. <laughs> I'm annoying. And then there's a thank you card and on the back it says, thank you for being my inspiration. This is so cute. Thank you so much to Mom's Closet. Make sure y'all go check her out on Instagram. Okay, so next we have, I think this might be a sponsorship. I love when they send it to me like this. I really need to put some wigs on my Depop. Some of y'all was asking me on Instagram like, when are you gonna put some more wigs on your Depop? I'm gonna do that as soon as I get back. But this is just another brand deal. Oh, this is another brand deal too. Period. We love this for us. So that's basically all I'm gonna show y'all because I can't show y'all anything else. Now I'm about to eat some food, handle a couple things. All right, y'all, it's a little bit later and I'm about to just run some errands. I have a couple things I need to do. I need to file my taxes. I need to go to the bank. I need to go to Target. And then I wanna go see my goddaughter. So that's the plan for the day. Oh, also I'm gonna go get my honey chain fixed. If I have time to do all of these things, that's the plan. Hopefully we can get everything done. I think I might go to work tonight too. I'm not sure. all right y'all so it is now about to be like six o'clock it's 6 42 actually so it's about to be seven i just stopped at taco bell and got me a mexican pizza call me nasty if you want to i don't care taco bell mexican pizzas bus they bus they bus <laughs> but y'all i feel like we got a decent amount of things done within the time frame that we had because everything be closing early. You gotta put the mild sauce on there. Gotta put mild sauce. I don't like really spicy stuff, so I just use mild sauce. The only things I haven't done is go to Target and get my chain fixed. Those are the only two things left that were on my to-do list. I could still go to Target. I might end up going to Target after I leave my best friend's house. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be in the mood though. I probably will just go just so I can get it done and get what I need to get. But me getting my chain fixed, I'm going to have to do that tomorrow. There's only two places I'm going to go to go get my jewelry fixed. And they both about to close. One thing I do want to tell you guys that's really important as a content creator or a dancer, when it comes to filing your taxes, I definitely owed money. But 
because I keep receipts of everything and most of my purchases I don't do cash I try to do like Zelle or my credit cards or my debit card that way I have like receipts of the transaction because that's what saved me from having to owe like basically I owed when he did my taxes I owed and then after we did all my deductions and stuff I ended up not owing anything at all so that's the good thing about me keeping receipts like, I hate owing like I never get money back I don't have no dependence or nothing so I never get money back ever I always end up owing and then if I use my deductions then I just end up having to just pay to file that's it so I be cool with just paying to file but all that owing I'm like nah 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 I deduct travel like when I went on that carnival cruise that got deducted on my taxes 100% I vlogged it that's part of my job some stuff I don't deduct like that I know I could though like literally you could deduct anything you can go to dinner and be like I had a meeting with another content creator at this dinner and here's the receipt for it deduct this like you could literally dedu deduct so much stuff I had to buy a new camera this year that got that deducted like it just has to make sense you know you're spending your money make sure that at the end of the year the IRS is not trying to get you I'm literally one of those people that try to wait because I just know I'm gonna owe like I don't get excited for tax season at all tax season does not excite me like no and I'm pretty sure there's a way for me to be able to like get money back but I haven't quite figured all of that out yet. I just know how to not owe. So I'm content with that as of right now. But sooner or later, I'm going to figure out ways for me to get some money back. Okay. My tip to the girls is make sure your transactions are not cash transactions. Have it on a card so at the end of the year, you can deduct it off your taxes. Because people like me, we don't got no dependents. So we got to make it do what it do. I'm about to sit right here real quick, eat my food. And then drive to my best friend's house. So I'm back at home and it's literally about to be like 2 a.m. I'm tired. I came home, showered, washed my face, did my night stuff. I'm about to go to sleep. Honestly, I don't even know how I ended up coming home at 2 a.m. Actually, I do know. Because I went to the damn studio. And I ended up in the studio with Lola Brooke and some other people. And yeah, that's how that happened. So I'm tired and I'm gonna go to sleep. And I'm probably gonna end the vlog here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you turn your post notifications on so you can be notified every time I post a video because who don't wanna watch my videos? Everybody wanna watch my videos, period. I love you guys so much. We're on the road to 35K. Bye.